crazy. Now they want us to accept open gloves that have been retaped, shaking my head. Wow. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. The saga continues over there in Japan as Stephen Coolboy Fulton has headed over to Japan for fight week to fight Naoya in a way. There's been so many things that have happened. I've made videos about it. It is up to you if you are a fan of boxing to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss these news breaks and these updates. So initially, the very first point of contention in Japan were the wrapping method for Naoya Inoue's hands. The way he does it is considered illegal in many commissions here in the States. But seeing that the fight is in Japan, they're contending like, this is how we've always done it. And oh well, right? The problem with it is if you ask boxing experts and former fighters like Timothy Bradley, he says the rapping style, since they gauze tape, tape, gauze, tape, gauze, start with tape on the bare hand and do these things over in Japan that otherwise aren't really accepted by boxing commissions, many boxing commissions in the States. He's saying that it would intensify the punches that one feels by 10x, right? The other thing you have to understand is when you're dealing with like any type of glue, adhesive, you know, material, things like that, is when you put gauze tape, gauze tape, I don't know if you've ever been wrapped for anything, an injury or whatever, but the situation is as you start to sweat, sweat is basically like H2O, it's water, right? It's liquid. So when the sweat hits the surface of like adhesive glue and your body temperature rises and stuff like that, it could begin to harden this, this material, right? So just think of it like this. If you were ever a kid in school and then you did some arts and crafts for like elementary school, such as paper mache. So I remember doing paper mache and we would get like a, a balloon, fill it with air, just like a regular balloon. And then we would get these cut up pieces of news clippings and newspaper. And then you dip it in water. I don't remember all the steps because this was a while ago, but in elementary school, you get this balloon, you get shredded up newspaper pieces and then you would like dip it in water with some kind of glue adhesive and then over time that would harden and that's how you come up with this paper mache which you get the glue and these starches and all all of these things together combine create the paper mache and then before you know it after you've stirred all this this solution together it'll harden i mean Think of it like that for the gloves. So that was the first issue. Now they've already done the weigh-in and Team Fulton has observed that Naoya Inoue's gloves are not like a fresh package sent from the manufacturer who made it. It's like they've been taken out and then they just put some tape over it to act like they're a new pair of gloves. And that's not how typically it's supposed to be. Usually Everlast or Grant Gloves or whoever has made your winning, whoever made your gloves, right? They would, even if you have a custom design, like let's say Noya in a way wants to put the Japanese flag in certain colors and got a color scheme to match his robe. Cool. What would typically happen is they are sealed like a factory seal and the commission is the only one that kind of takes them out and holds on to the gloves in the lockbox or, you know, a secured area just so you can't tamper with it. The The problem Fulton's team is experiencing with this is, as you guys see in the picture, if the gloves have been taken out of the factory seal in the packaging, depending on who got their hands on them, you could pack the glove, you could skin the gloves, you can, you know, try to mush around and spread the padding to intensify the punching power or to make the punches felt more right to so more knuckle is getting through on the glove you can put the glove on and punch a, a hard surface like a wall a floor and pack the glove i mean there's many things you could do and that's typically not allowed anywhere else right so i understand these concerns from fulton fulton is a champion 
in a way, is coming up to his division. He wants to make sure he already took the trip to fight in Japan to make sure everything was even Steven. And he's faced with these different problems. And it looks like by any means necessary type of attitude. Like I keep seeing the racist fans and in a way fans and just different people throughout boxing. They're saying, oh, Fulton's making excuses. Who cares? Just fight him any type of way. But one, these people wouldn't fight anybody in general that was a good fighter. Second of all, they definitely and surely wouldn't fight that good fighter if that fighter had some kind of fake advantage that was unnatural to the regular rules of competition, right? So it's very easy for you guys to have Cheeto dust on your fingers and get on your mobile phones, get on your iPads and tablets, get on your keyboards and do the whole keyboard warrior t -t 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 return enter slash backslash forward delete you know hashtag this and type all this stuff about what you would do like i i hate that like it'll be like nazi germany and you get people in modern culture who have never expe experienced any type of real like trauma or like real like nothing they haven't really experienced anything sinister in life and they talk about what they would do in nazi germany like you wouldn't do all that stuff you know, or what they would do in slavery, right? You'd be like, oh, if the slave masters did this, I would do this. Like, they, people in their brains, they feel like they are bolder than what they would really be. But if there was a road rage situation and somebody get out the car and it's like telling you to get out, a lot of people wouldn't even get out, you know, if the guy seemed like crazy. So it's just, it's crazy that we live in this world of the internet where you know people just say anything and oh just fight him stop being chicken just fight him so he already flew to a foreign country he's risking his belt right and these different things seem awry they seem amiss like why is someone opened the glove and then retaped it why is his rapping style different than many other fighters that Fulton has fought etc and people are saying who cares stop making excuses fight him anyway just goes to show you when it comes to a black fighter, like I've told you, there's a lot of the race fans and they don't care. They just want the outcome to be the guy that they want to win to win by any means necessary. They don't care if it's fair. They don't care if he was on PEDs. They don't care if the glove, there's controversies. They just want to see the outcome that they want to see. And you would think that the race fans were smarter than this, where they hear a guy like, boxing ego say these things and then they would try to prove me wrong by not letting it show so much but they never do and in fact they do the opposite and further prove anytime it's an andre ward a floyd mayweather a javante davis a stephen Coolboy fulton you know they always prove me right i don't know what will happen next i will keep you guys posted subscribe to the channel for more updates on the stephen Coolboy fulton and Nooya Inouye drama. Subscribe. And I'm out.